Hello everyone, my name is Faradila Areni. I'm from SMP IT Samao Cindikia. I want to tell you the story. The title is The Legend of Golok Stone. Once upon a time, there was a family of farmers. The father's name was Amak Lubain and the mother's name was Ina Lubain. They had two children, a son and a daughter. They lived happily. One day, the fathers went to the market to sell their harvest. Meanwhile, the mother went to the rice field alone to pound the rice. And as always, she brought the children to the rice field. Please be careful of our children. I want to be long in the market. I will go to the rice field after I finish selling the harvest, said the father. I will be careful, said the mother. Okay, mother, said the children. Later, the mother was busy pounding the rice. It was quite noisy. Strangely, every time the mother pounding the rice, the stone where the children were sitting down was growing. The children were scared. They screamed. Mother, the stone is getting taller. Help! Mom, help! The mother could not hear them well. She told the children asked her to go home. Just the minute, kids. I will finish this soon. But mom, the stone is getting taller. We were scared. The children were crying. It's mom, mom, help, mom, <laughs> mom. Again, she could not hear them well. It was repeated again and again. The Golok stone was getting taller and taller, and finally, it reached the clouds. The children could not be seen it anymore. When the mother finished pounding the rice, she was shocked. She could not find her children. She was crying. She didn't pray to God. She wanted to bring her children down, but she did not know how to do it. Somehow God answered her pray. She had to use the rice pounder to cut down the golok stone. The stone broke down into three pieces. The first part fell in area with letter called Gambong Village. The second part fell in area which was letter named Dasan Batu. And the last part fell in area which letter was named Montong Taker. Unfortunately, the two children could not come back to their mother. They had changed into birth. That's the end of the story. Bye-bye.